Hey YouTube, good morning. I'm back from quite a bit of work traveling, uh, back with the car, really kind of the first time I'm gonna be able to test 10.12.2 uh, on these unprotected left-hand turns. I haven't actually even tried one yet, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, appreciate all the support. It's uh, great uh, listening and commenting on your YouTube comments and on Twitter. Uh, and you know, everybody wanting me to get out here and keep doing these drives. I really appreciate it. As part of that, a little shout out to uh, some folks from the down under, Atlanta and Pippa. Uh, thanks for watching and for getting a chuckle uh, when I say, hey, YouTube. I don't know. It's just what I do. I figure I'm talking to everybody all at once. In any case, um, a little bit of bad news. My monitor mod uh, was on the fritz, so I have had to pull that out and I tried to resolder the pads this morning and the pads on the back of the circuit board wouldn't take the wires um, and I do not have the monitor mod working so I'm gonna have to go old school and uh, try to zoom in on this screen but in any case I do have the drone up I got the 360 camera up and I've got the GoPro 9 uh, running so we'll do the best we can oh and also the CAN bus recording so um, let's see what happens here we have got the typical left hand turn scenario Traffic is what it's about 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. There's a car here I'm just gonna let them take the lead as you can see here. The planner has got a left turn Autopilot's available Let's see what we get here with a lead car to start Oh and the car is actually doing exactly what I'm gonna do that was an unprotected left turn done by the car right in front of me Just double check the planner is still going left slow creep needs to stop. There's a car. Okay okay it's continuing to creep with oncoming cars i went ahead and disengaged there it might have stopped um, but it was continuing to creep and this is my first turn and i did not want it to um initiate too much of a creep there so it'll be interesting to look at that one from the drone view i'm, I'm confident i wasn't in the road yet but it was a continuing roll creep situation there uh with several cars coming and I knew I needed to wait um, okay I'm gonna let it reset here interesting I've got a press brake brake pedal to shift gears I'm already in drive double check okay still got the same left hand turn Good stop there. Let's get a slow creep. Okay, lots of cars coming. It needs to stop. Okay, if it goes. Okay, it did not give me the angle I needed to get into this median. It went for it. So it went for it, but it didn't kind of give the turn that I needed to do to fit in this median so that the back of my car is not in the lane. Um, because the, the right side of the lane, as you saw, was not open. Um, so had I not disengaged, I would have essentially been perpendicular in this median here, which would have left the, my car sticking out of the back. So the traffic is a little bit aggressive right now for this, uh, for breaking this in and for me getting comfort levels with the software. So um, anyway, that was the first one. It, it, it shot for the gap. If it had been wide open on the right, that one would have been a good one for a nice unprotected left turn continue. But the problem was it needed to fit itself in the median and it didn't have the geometry right um, that I was comfortable with anyway. All right, let's try some more. Okay, here we go again. Same uh, planner left hand turn, stop sign, stop. Give me a little slow creep. I like a slower creep. Let me slow it. Okay, stop. Okay, there's cars coming. It can't go. Uh, I'm in the lane at an uncomfortable level. The mail truck is turning right here. Um, gosh, I just don't like where it stopped there. So I'm backing up. And if you guys are looking at this drone video and going, he's not in the lane, I don't care. I was way too close to the traffic. And I will tell you, after having just been in an accident on the interstate, I need more of a buffer than that. I, I need the, the edge of my car to not be so close to the light lane line that if somebody was swerving in that other lane or not paying attention, I wouldn't get hit. Um, I, I need more of a buffer than that. 
Not that the car doesn't need to go all the way out there for the B pillar to see, that's beyond my comfort zone. Um, okay, here we go again. Checking the planner. Okay, it was running that stop sign. Um, I'm gonna have to do a loop here. I'm gonna reset it. I'm just there's no cars behind me, so I'm continuing to to reset where we start. I'm gonna even go further back. There's a chance that that um, initiation was too close to the stop sign. Um, I have seen in the past where if if you initiate autopilot, it, it just there is a range where it's going to ignore a stop sign. Um, here's a little further back. I I've done this turn a thousand times and it's worked fine from that distance before, but um, I don't know what it's waiting for here. Oh man, where's it going? Where's it going? So there's a stop sign. Yeah, that was an aggressive uh, acceleration there. Ghost cars slowly creep. All right, stop, please stop, stop. Okay, here's a nice gap from the left. Let's see what it does. It's creeping into the road. Bad, uh, bad, 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 bad. Okay, car's coming and I did the turn for it. So it was looking right, I think. I guess there's good news. It's not doing right-hand turns like it did on 12.1. It um, is trying to turn left, but that time it was creeping into the gap, I think waiting on visibility from the right, but it needs to go to the median. It can't be creeping in the middle of the lane like that. Um, all right, we'll try it again. All right, here we go again. Got the planter going left, blinker going left, stop sign, stop. Let's see, get a little bit slower creep here. Looks like lots of cars are coming. Okay, lots more cars. It needs to stop. Okay, that was that was the appropriate amount of creep. Uh, that was comfortable for me and the drivers oncoming. Um, that was that was good. This is right where I should be. If I lean back to where my head is at the B pillar, I can definitely see some cars. When I'm leaning forward, I can see all the way down the road. Um, and there's a nice, good, steady stream of cars, so it, it shouldn't uh, even try to go here. Now there's a small gap here, and it's completely clear on the right. Is it going to go for it? All right, if it, it needs to go, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, I had to intervene there. It didn't commit in the gap, but it started to go on the road. So that was its best chance so far of completing it, and it didn't have the commit it needed. Uh, and that car was approaching faster than the speed limit, so probably around 55 or 60 miles an hour. Okay, so what I did that time though is I hit the accelerator uh, and then a disengagement happened when I started to steer um, and not let it take the lateral path. There's, a, there's a, probably a likelihood if I'd have just pressed the accelerator, it might have done the entire turn with just an intervention, but um, it was a takeover. That's what I did. We'll try some more. All right, here we go again. Planner says left. It hasn't bailed to the right at all yet, so I guess we at least know something changed in 12.2. Uh, it feels like aggressiveness to me uh, on, on creeping and not commitment to go. All right, so one more car in a very big gap. It should do this all day long. Okay, what lane, what lane? Okay, middle lane, it's wide open left and right, so I was able to let it complete a maneuver without any intervention. It wasn't very committal in the uh, first lane, and there might be a little bit of visibility issues that we're going through where it can't quite uh, draw the opposite side. So you throw traffic in with some of that visibility um, problem, perhaps, and, and maybe that's what's causing a little bit of the hesitancy on this turn. You know, th these roads are designed so the water drains uh, to the edges, and there is a little bit of a mound there that does create some uncertainty. I don't know. Maybe that's uh, just one of the things we're just going to have to continue to evolve. Let's try some more. All right, here we go again. Planner says left. Slow creep. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, what's it going to do? Small gap, continuous, wide open on the right. Left lane that time with a car accelerating behind me. 
So we did. We got two in a row. Good gaps on the left, small gap on the right, and it continued and didn't hesitate to, to go. That time it chose the left lane when it jumped it out here, and that is good. So I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. That was a nice turn. Not a lot of complexity on, on uh, heavy traffic, but at least it was able to complete the maneuver without any uh, undue hesitancy once it had committed. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Planner says left turn. There's the stop. Here's the creep. Slowly, slowly. Okay, it's wide open left. Let's see if it'll use the median here. There's a car on the right. All right, it's not in the median. It's okay. It's okay. So it's trying, but it's not in the median. It can be using the left lane here, and I'm able to do this because the, there was no traffic from the left. So that was the best case scenario of showing how I might be using the median. It, I'm going to hit the uh, camera there just so they can see that one. It didn't get the right angle, but it did stop in the median and wait. But it stopped in a in a in a unsafe position with oncoming traffic. All right, each one of these scenarios has been a little bit different, so I just keep doing them until I get tired or I don't see any different behaviors here. So there's the stop sign. Let's see if we can get a slight creep. There's a car coming, it needs to wait, and then there's an enormous gap behind from the left and the right. Let's see if it goes all the way through. Yep, all the way through, left lane. Cars are accelerating from behind me, so I should be punching it a little bit more here, and it's not, so they kind of accelerated up behind me. But it did it. No traffic, it knows how to do an unprotected left turn. It knows how to do the maneuver. Traffic, it can see some gaps. Uh, it, it isn't committing well in those gaps. I, I, it feels like it's just a visibility logic speed processing kind of a scenario, so I, I don't know how to describe it other than that. The fact it can do it with no traffic just fine means it's all about decision making with the gaps and uh, the speed of the oncoming traffic and the amount of commit to give. Yeah, I'll, and of course, you know, this build did say it had some median logic, um, and I think we've seen that at least once uh, so far today. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Um, I think what we saw was no more bailing to the right. Didn't bail right once today. A little bit of an aggressive creep. Um, we saw one uh, stop sign attempted run. I, I'm certain that it was an initial initialization issue of where I initialized it that time. It just didn't see it and went for it. So I'm not going to really strike that one against it too much. Um, I, I think we saw it stop in the median that one time where I didn't have any left traffic. I think that was really good. Uh, it didn't fit itself in the median the way it should, but at least it stopped in the median uh, and didn't have to have a fluid maneuver. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, appreciate all the support and uh, have a great day, YouTube.